So, a quick look through the lineup as we get ready to uh, rock. one change, Greg. Uh, Katano's in for the suspended Harry Noon. Beautiful. Well played. 150 games up for Stephen Pace tonight. He's an absolute uh, icon at the club in his fifth year. He's won plenty and he'd like to win more. Warrior ball to start the game. Heading to the right of screen down toward the scoreboard end. That's an easy reference point. And, uh, of course, uh, Dandenong Thunder in the... Club colours of red and black to the left of screen down towards what end is that one, That's John? That's uh, down towards the peninsula end, Greg. And Stephen Pace with, speaking, uh, speaking of with ease, chested it down and poked it wide for Reuben Way. Ball out of play. And what end is that again? That's Say that down again. towards the peninsula. The morning. peninsula end of uh, this magnificent little boutique stadium in Dandenong tonight. It's a chilly, it's a little bit chilly. It's not terribly, you know, deep. Harsh winter chilly, but it's a little bit chilly. I think it was about nine degrees an hour ago. So. And uh, in stark contrast to this time last year, John, when you and I are here and at kickoff, it was nearly 40 degrees. We were whipping out the zinc cream and the uh, pina coladas, Greg. One, <laughs> well, you may have been. I was just uh, <laughs> terrified that I was going to melt goalkeeper's <laughs> ball. Like Piers Clark at the uh, scoreboard end. It's a very pretty little coloured uh, electronic scoreboard. I like it a lot. Dandenong Thunder on the move. The ball trickles over the line. That was Blake Carpenter getting the last touch. This is very disorganised of you, boys. Great shots, though, from Johnny Byron on camera. Look at that. We yeah. are not we're where Johnny level. Byron is. We're at ground, we're ground level. We're yeah. at ground level, and uh, that's all right. Get a feel of the game. Luke Biles, the captain, spins it upfield. It skids on the surface. Obi stabs it back. Turnover. Dandenong Thunder. Brandon Barnes tries to start against Stephen Pace and he nails it. What a ripper goal. What a magnificent goal and we're only 90 seconds in. And, uh, well, Brandon Barnes and there was a bit of byplay I well, saw I during the week between Brandon Barnes as we look at the replay. Have a look at this. Yeah, there was a calls for offside but the referee waved it on and... Uh Took his chance well, turned Pacey inside out. And, uh, and you don't say that very often. No, well, uh, had the run of the play there. And uh, once again, the Burgers getting caught out early on. And, uh, gee, there's some, there'll be questions asking that back four. But uh, they're looking over uh, disconsolately at the uh, assistant referee on that uh, stadium well, side. It is what it is. You're not taking it to the Supreme Court. Play goes on, game goes on. Two minutes old, Stephen Pace, 150 games, sweeps it upfield. Tommy Cale backs boldly into the pack. Play on confidence. Once they get their confidence up, they're going to be hard to stop. No, I think they've done uh, pretty well so far, and they'll be pretty happy with that uh, score, uh, scoreboard. Berezovskos launches it wide left. Cavallo. Cavallo tries to take the fake out off J-Dub. What's the call there, John? Handball, I think. Put, oh, get the arms up. So. Oh, I hope we've got another look at that because I saw that uh, challenge and it didn't look like a handball. Well, it doesn't matter. It is what it is. We're... Uh, the referee indicating that he had the arm up and it struck him on the arm, but... Uh, eight, nearly nine minutes old. And... Uh, well, the Warriors have been thunderstruck. It's a 1-0 lead to the home side. See what I did there, yeah, John? Very good. <laughs> Cavallo with a free like kick. like lightning, Greg. And thunderstruck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a whole lot of Rosie. I'll talk about that later. Yes. Far post cross. Big header away by Kale, I think it was. Katanos on the deck for Zara. He's outnumbered. Did well just to get the relief ball. In the end, it's Obi doing the hard work in the trenches. Very still out there, so it might get a bit of frost coming down and a bit of dew. Ball to the feet of uh, Lucas Derrick. He's double teamed. They're swarming, aren't they? Look at him, Danny on Thunder. Don't get the turnover that they might have liked. J-Dub. Scoop ball for Ellis. Dainty bounce for Shawnee. Right foot square. Own goal. Wow, we are on terms on 12. So the Warriors climb back from the canvas and answer the early goal. It's a 1-1 game thanks to Windsor Management. Insurance brokers here tonight. Yeah, the ball's played in, and I think that was set up by Josh Wilkins. If uh, Spielberg, it was. It was Wilkins for Ellis. Right, we can't see that. And one. Ellis with his right foot squared it perfectly. Look, right. let's see it again. Okay. Nope, that is the worst replay of anything ever in the history of replays. So, are we crediting that as an OG? That was definitely an OG. An OG, Greg. Well, but of course, what I know, John, is often quite uh, contrary to what is actually. For real, but I think it was an OG for, uh, from here. It doesn't matter because the scoreboard tells us 
One one. They, 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 they read that, that study you quoted. International study that uh, I can quote you on if you... I probably can't. Why Spielberg We're, doing one-liners, Greg? Oh, I don't know. Fortunately, he's not on mic tonight, so we don't have to be forcibly have to hear them. It's a free kick to the Warriors. It's a 1-1 one -one game with 16 old wins of management. Goalkeeper oh, yes. did really well with a punch over the back from Guess Tom who? Cahill <laughs> and Pierce yeah. and Tommy. Just have a word to each other. Tommy works away, walks away. Yeah, Tommy Not guilty, you're right. Let's there's let. a ball played in, and he went in hard on the keeper. Nothing really much in it, but as we know, keepers get well looked after, don't they, Greg? He is clay. He's a big boy, isn't he? I think, uh, from memory, he might have had a little bit of a stint at Heidelberg three or four seasons back. Pierce he did Clark. that well that you remember so clearly. <laughs> Pierce uh, Clark might have had a stint at the Burgers, I think, when Griff McMaster was keeping. 16 and a half played. Shout yeah. out to Griff McMaster. Scenes. Heading down towards the... What's this end here again to That's the left? That's the peninsula The end. peninsula end. How lovely. Well, we paints wanna, paints a, a, it conjures up a vision, doesn't it? The peninsula club end. <laughs> so we're in uh, Dandenong tonight. Oh, good play by Derek. Sean Ellis. Well, oh, he saw the, the goalkeeper uh, oh. out of his... Uh, area. You got very excited. You got aroused then, John. Well, yeah. I'm just, uh, I'm just saying. Keep, keep warm in this chilly night, Greg. Oh, it's probably otherwise. Do a few star jumps off here. Do you good? Go on, off you go. Oh, no. Pierce Clark. Strain to hamstring thinking about that, Greg. <laughs> yeah, thinking's uh, not your strong point, is it, John? Windsor Management Insurance Brokers. Saturday night action, round 18 of the NPL in Victoria. 17 and a half played. It's a 1 1 game. Pierce Clark knocks it clear. Cahill through traffic. It's very busy at that intersection. Ellis strokes it wide. J Dub with the cross far post. Dangerous. Cahill with the leap. Katanos. Katanos, and he tries to rifle one with very little angle to work with, and I tell you what, Pierce Clark had to be good, and he was, the big oh, fellow. Forced the save there, but it was a dangerous ball, whipped in by Wilkins, found its way out to Katanos, tried his luck from an arrow angle, Greg, and uh, well tipped over in the end by Pierce Clark. Corner, into the hot spot, oh, two glancing headers, one yeah. Heidelberg, one Dandy on Thunder, and the ladder puts it out of play. It'll be a corner now from the other side. Now, would that be fair to say that that's the city? That's end? towards the city in there, yes. Holy crap, I can't work out where we are when we're in Dandy Nong. Holy carp. Holy carp, I said, I do apologise. Solly and Holy right, Carp. Peninsula City, yeah, I'm getting it scoreboard. All right, the sheriff with the corner, Lucas Derrick, low trajectory into the edge of the six yard box. Katanos in, defender away. O'Brien launches it high into the night sky. Sean Ellis is there. Yeah, and the ball good. just pummeled over the line. Carpenter might have been in It the was end. indeed, Blake Carpenter. Yep. The host tonight, the second bottom of the ladder, but they haven't looked like, looked pretty uh, sharp, I would have thought. Yeah, they've, it's been that kind of season, though, for Danny, you know, where they've uh, played in patches, played in patches and then uh, fallen away. Last week, let a two-goal lead slip to go down 3-2 in the end against so Altona. Warrior throw, edged off the footy, Tommy Cale. Doesn't he do the work? When you're down at ground level, oh, John, whoops, a daisy. That's a horrible miss, isn't it? Is it Cavallo Barnes for Barnes? Has he given himself too much to do? No, found the angle, hit the angle, and left foot at the angle, gets his second, and Danny on Thunder regained the lead on the Saturday night of George Andrews Reserve. Oh, that all started. Oh, he said he was looking a bit crook. He didn't look crook then. No, he powered away from the two central defenders, and uh, but the mistake made here in the middle of the ground with a slip, and that set him away, and uh, that was Kieran Dover that was able to link up with his skipper, and they take the lead again. On 28 minutes, Greg. Wonderful goal by Brandon Barnes, and the, he's proved the danger man. So the Burgers will have to come from behind again, Greg. They will. Well, Brandon Barnes with two. We played 28 minutes on HUFC TV, thanks to Windsor Management, and it's a 2 1 game. I tell you what, it's been worth getting out and coming down to Danny Nong tonight for this one. It's a beauty already. J Dub. Well, his turnover cost wants to make up for it, swinging and swaying through traffic. Lucas Derrick adjacent to the penalty area. Outside ball, the little cat. Drag and roll, gentle. It motors its way back to Chris Theodoridis. So 
It's a 2-1 game and for the second time as we go into the 33rd minute of a gripping contest here at George Andrews and Dan Inong tonight. Tommy Cahill, strong like a locomotive. Look at him go. Oh, he swings, switches it onto his left at the last minute and he's going to draw. Now, where was it? Well, it was out of the area. Just outside the We've box. We've got a really bad angle here, so. You can see that on the replay, Greg. That was good by Cahill, though. Well, he made the most of it, too. Sure <laughs> he made sure that the uh, three and a half with a pike was uh, yeah. seen by the referee, but it was there. Here's the uh, one and a half twist there, too, Greg. It wasn't bad. It wasn't great. Solid seven on this judge's scorecard. Yes, We've uh, played 33-30. Uh, Danny Nong Thunder. Lead it by two. Brandon Barnes doing the damage. Both times. Sean Ellis will line up. Got the winner here last year. Did the flamehead Scott. Yes, it was from about this sort of range, wasn't it? Not from a free kick. Not from a free kick. He just carved a path, didn't he? And we might need some magic from uh, the factor again tonight because Danny Nong Thunder have given... Oh, they've come to play. They, they really have. They've been terrific so far. Sean Ellis. Stands adjacent to the goal face. Left foot around the corner. Oh, bang. I don't know why we can't just pick that up, wrap it, take it home, give it to the kids at Christmas. That is a gift. Well, that is a gift and we're 2-2. Two -two. Yeah, he's been threatening on that all season and finally gets one from the spot kick there. Keeper <laughs> rooted to the spot and split the defender and the keeper there. I think that was uh, Keegan Sheridan on the line as well. Split the middle and thank you very much. <laughs> it's a 2-2 two -two game. Get your hard tablets out. Uh, Put your seat belts on. We're in for a belter down here in Danny Nong tonight. And Sean Ellis, uh, Johnny, I reckon that's his best goal of the season. Absolutely. Nailed at that time. And uh, not much he can do about that as a keeper, as a defender. Just got to say hats off. Too good on the day. I tell you what, it's a, a little bit wet and uh, it's a little bit cold, but I'm aroused, Johnny. It's a 2-2 two -two game. There you go. Stephen Pace and Brandon Barnes resuming hostility. Ruben, so J-Dub has to take three steps back. Have we found it, Mark? The referees, jeez. Oh, if he's an accountant, I want to go to him. Because he was counting off the, uh, the inches there. As we go into the last 30 seconds of stoppage. Right. Might be the last yeah, play of the one, game. One Throw in Greg, yeah. comm side of the George Andrews Reserve on a wintry... Saturday night. Round 18 of the competition launched by Obi. Got some uh, meterage on that too. And the battle is on. Katana spins out of trouble. Back for Obi. Katana's night. Defender got to it first. It loops its way downfield out of play. That might be it, and that will be I reckon we've got uh, we're into the end. Well here we go and the curtain is thrown across this one. The blanket is thrown on this one because it ends the first half that's been absolutely I've got to say to you John very I know you're not surfing my wave of excitement right now, but it's been a ripper so far. It's 2-2 at the break. Brandon Barnes inside 90 seconds. Send a message. Warriors, don't worry about that. You're not going to get away from this one easily. An own goal at the other end on 12. We had game on once again. Only for Brandon Barnes to say, right, you want me to do it again? And I will. So on 28, he makes it 2-1. And then we've got an equaliser uh, from Shawnee Ellis, who... that. Is that the goal? No, I'm, what, what are you seeing on the replay? That was, the, uh, that was the own goal, Greg. All right, somebody tell me when the replay's ready. Shorty Ellis with a, an absolute uh, work of art. Frame it and put it on your wall. It's a 2-2 game at the end of all HUFC TV, thanks to Windsor Management. Danny Nong Thunder hitting the scoreboard into the ground for this second half. First use of the footy. The home side in the black and red this, uh, this evening, the traditional... Colours, John Fodinos and the Warriors heading down toward the, what the is it again? End. The bypass end. Towards the peninsula down there, Mornington Peninsula. Absolutely. You, you are a fond of knowledge, my friend. And we're away to a start. Brandon Barnes with the first whack of the footy. No changes either side, Greg. From bench, uh, bench for the Warriors tonight. I think we've gone through the bench strength. 150 yeah. game man. Stephen Pace turns it around the body on the deck. Zara to Ellis. Angled ball for Cahill, Lucas Derrick, way, way out from the drop zone at this point. Sean Ellis scored a beauty in the first half, might have got two. J-Dub, overlap, square ball, Zara, top of the box, down for Lucas Derrick. If he can manoeuvre his way past three, he got past two and he's nailed, well, he's nailed it. it. What a magnificent goal. The Sheriff 
with the six shooter. He spins it in the air, blows the smoke away and says, how about that? It's a 3-2 game. Well, something about that end at the start of halves, Greg, because uh, that was a mirror image uh, of the first half with uh, the Burgers this time grabbing the lead through Lucas Derrick. First goal of the MPL season, second for the club overall. I am not going to make the cardiac kids call, but right now it's a 3-2 game. We don't have that Here, on replay. We don't have it on replay. Who's on the dials? Oh, it's Spielberg 2.0. Oh. Oh. Well, it's a 3-2 game. Told you it was going to be a beauty tonight. Did we get that again, Caelan? No, we didn't get it. We only got the tail end of it. You two just chat amongst yourselves. It's a 3-2 game, and Lucas Derrick with a, a beauty. We've seen some beautiful, magnificent goals tonight. Sean oh, Ellis. Ellis carving away. Sweeping away. Sheriff. Lucas finds Ooh. a way. Lucas into the box. Kale twist it round the body. Last gasp defence. Ruben Way. Yeah, Zara it. in the danger zone again. Gee, they're pressing early in the second half, the Warriors. And I'll tell you what, uh, um, the flag on the far side. Let's have a look at that on the replay, Greg. As uh, Derek was. How about Lucas? Through. Derek, he's. And uh, just a little flick looking for Alice, but uh, is he getting just, better? The man with the big shorts, Lucas yeah. Derek. I reckon he might have trimmed him down. I reckon he's trimmed his shorts. I can see his knees. Somebody's, uh, so somebody's taking the scissors to him. The performance has gone inverse proportional with the length of shorts, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> so it's 3-2. Warriors lead 56 away in this one. There's Brandon Barnes. He's on a hat trick. He's a beauty, that bloke. And in. <laughs> right into the dangerous territory. Oh, Brandon danger. Barnes. And well, flashing in a bit. Well, he... Uh, well, we said, Greg, that they curved the, uh, far the influence of him. But, uh, I'm sorry, because I lost sight of that You can see him there, got the ball back from uh, from his teammate, and uh, was in on goal, look and look at his shot went well wide in the end. In fact, it went out for a throw-in. Well, you're given his uh, quality of finishing. I reckon he'll walk away and so say, could have done a bit better there. Yeah, he had Barnes. the opportunity that time, because... Uh, they worked it well too, did Danny Long, but the Burgers get away with one that time. If you just tuned in on HFC TV tonight, Brandon Barnes on inside the opening 90 seconds put Danny Long thunder ahead. J Dub gets the off cannon Jordan. off uh, George Opolis and it loops out of play on that far side of the ground. As I recall last year, Johnny, when we came down here to George Andrews, oh. I don't think there's a bigger crowd tonight. I think it's. Yeah. Uh, because it's, it's bloody winter and it's Weather bloody cold. JW opens up the throttle. Jade up to the line, scoops it back. Kale leaves it. Ruben was there. Lesden Barlas, Wishkar off the woodwork. Kale and a great pick. Double. Finger tipper oh by the goalkeeper over the bar. What a moment. No, I think it might have been a goal kick. So it was a great uh, two. Lesden Barlas with the uh, non preferred right foot. Hammers that against the bar. <laughs> <laughs> He's looking pretty happy with himself too. He's yeah. got a great big smile on his gob there. Dumbala, sir. Unwanted wood, John. It's Where, a curse. Where's the carpenter when you need him? <laughs> Blake Carpenter's out That's there. Right. Oh, Cahill, look at that. <laughs> Tommy Cahill. HUFC TV, 3-2, JW, emphatic. Tommy, coming around the body, the dubster. Starter steps, then he slams it, and that That's is in. in. That's an absolute ripper from J.W. Well, he's been threatening it all season, Greg, with those <laughs> forward runs. And finally, on uh, 71 minutes here, gets the ball back off Tommy Kale. Probably wasn't the greatest shot that he's ever had, but it might have just got a deflection. And inside the near post, and the Burgers get that. You can take, a, take a breath, Johnny. Oh. <laughs> You've got to breathe, my friend. Abs it's a 4-2 game. And the look of despair on uh, a couple of the Danny Nong Thunder players. Because now it's a bit of a mountain to climb for the home side. Blind spot, Greg. Even the <laughs> monitor's yeah, One of our several blind spots. So I'm going to head down toward the swimming pool there again. It's a it's puddle. Dumbalas, I think, with a throw, Greg. It is. <laughs> Dumbalas loops that one. Well, awkward bounce. Goalkeeper double fist away. Zara. Zara corrals it. Did really well under pressure. <laughs> and another mad scramble. One end to the other. Ninkovic was setting up for the big bicycle kick, but uh, <laughs> the scissor kick. But uh, who was it that cleared at that time? I think it might have been. Oh, look, don't obsess about been. it, Johnny. Let's uh, wind it up. It's been, I tell you what, they had, the pace of this one has not abated. Yeah, there was that five-minute sort of lull. 
early in the uh, early in the second half. But uh, apart from that, it's yeah, both sides just took the handbrake off and rolled tonight. Far post, Kale <laughs> with a kind of awkward shimmy, couldn't get his head to the footy. He's uh, big F there, cleared the ball away from Blake Carpenter, so they'll come again. The Warriors, Stephen Pace in his 150th, getting forward again. J Dub, oh, oh, that's it, Nikovic. and Nikovic. Well, I reckon that is the garnish on the dish, and you can frank the three points now on Warrior Nation. It will be a five. Two game. Well, Greg, that's a, a poacher's finish because you look at this as it's played across by uh, Tommy Kale. Just gets the foot in there in the right spot. At the he right had to spot. stretch, didn't he, the big fella? Yeah, the big gangly legs stretching out and on uh, 83 minutes, Greg. Well, you'd have to say now it's a, a, a big mountain for Oh, yeah. Now, for Danny Dong Thunder. Time of death, 83 minutes and 50 seconds. Danny Dong Thunder probably deserve it a little better. They've been very... They served it up, Johnny. That's the thing. They, they made a statement. Theatrical finish, I wouldn't... Well, three goals in about a minute of stoppage time? No. Can't see it. Obi does the hard work, as he always does. It's a 5-2 game. You know, the dead embers of this one, as Sarah tried the back heel, gets a second effort. Double back heel, trying to give one, trying to gift one. For Stephen, the barometer pace in his 150th. Yeah, he spooned it over. He's got a smile on his gob from ear to ear. Yeah, he'd be loving this. Uh, no. what, a, what a milestone celebration. And, uh, you can see that again on the replay. Well, <laughs> they'd say that was a defender's effort, wasn't it, Greg? So we're into... Don't worry about Stephen Pace. There's nothing he can't do. He's a spandex outfit away from being a superhero, Stephen Pace. <laughs> don't worry about that. I don't know what we've called him. The barometer man. <laughs> Carp, corn <laughs> carp on that one. Oh, the dying embers of a thriller diller at George Andrews tonight. Exchange of possession, but it is, as you said, John, all academic now. Probably the last play of the game and broken up by yeah, Luke Biles. And that is all she wrote. Clunk, 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 clunk. Down comes the shutters on a round 18, seven goal thriller and the cardiac kids for the 19th time. In three, in uh, two and a bit seasons, are off the mat, and uh, well, they came from behind twice, twice. and they've won it uh, five two.